So the next dish we made was all about kombu. So it had some kombu cured rib cap. You could use any slow cook cut of beef with this, you could use brisket, you could use anything that you'd want to kind of cook slowly. So the marinade was the kombu powder with some garlic, rosemary, thyme and cumin. Salted overnight, rinsed off and then cooked slowly in the smoker. So the, the bits of seaweed that were kind of left on the outside of the meat really crisp up in the smoker and a nice crunchy coating. We also made a uh, beef sauce, so made a beef and kombu stock. So roast the beef bones and beef scraps, stock veg, so onions, caramelised with star anise to help accentuate the roast meat flavours, plus some caramelised carrots, and then the roasted beef bones and scraps, water and uh, some of the kombu strips. We cooked that out for a few hours, strained it off and reduced it. Uh, it separated the fat and clarified that to add back into the sauce later on, and then reduced the sauce to flavour. Added some more kombu right at the end, I just felt like it needed a little bit more flavour, so as I was infusing some fresh thyme at the end also added a little bit more kombu in and that really really helped enrich the stock it also helps stabilize it so sometimes when you add fat back into sauces it can it can split out but this was really stable and helped by the, the kombu in there the the kombu in the meat sauce i think just really underpins that kind of roast meat flavor i think it tasted not necessarily seaweed but just very very beefy so i think that's a really great use of the kombu strips with the kombu cured beef and the kombu beef sauce, also did some green vegetables. So just wilted them in a little bit of the seaweed butter and then seasoned with the kombu powder. It works really, really well with those kind of dark leafy greens, kale, cavolo nero, dark cabbages, really accentuates the iodine flavors you get in those kind of vegetables anyway. It's a lovely season for it. Also did some potatoes. So took a little bit of beef fat and then a little bit of the seaweed butter, some thinly sliced potatoes, just all mixed up together and then baked at 160 for about 45 minutes to make a sort of hot pot style potato then compressed it and cooled it and cut it out and just coloured the potatoes just another another way of using that seaweed butter and um, works really well with the sort of earthy potato flavours.